All right, guys. Um, we've got our first question coming from Mark Narducci. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, Doc, uh, I, I wanted to ask you, um, have, have you talked to Joel? And also from your vantage point, what, what did you see on that play? No, it just felt awkwardly. Um, you know, thought there was a little contact when he went up to dunk the ball. Um, thought he fell, you know, with his balance off. Um, you know, I'm not going to speculate. You know, tomorrow we'll know we'll have all the information for you. Um, you know, hoping for the best. Yeah, I did talk to him. He was in the locker room. Uh, you know, he was in pretty good spirit. So let's just hope for the best. Okay, thank you. Next, let's go to Kyle Newbeck. Hey, Doc. So I know you guys obviously continue to go on and got a big win there, but like, how difficult is it to stay focused on the game when you know your best player, your MVP candidate goes down like that? Well, you have to. You know, I've, I've been through this before, and you got to get the win first, and then you got to hope for the best afterwards. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job of focusing. Thought it took us a couple minutes to get going, uh, but once we did, I thought we took care of the game. So your impression, Doc, is you guys are going to go back to Philly before Joel is actually, you know, looked at an MRI and all that. That's your understanding? Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Next, let's go to Kai Carlin. Hey, Coach. Uh, you just kind of mentioned how you, just, you, know, you went through it before uh, when it comes to injuries to stars. Uh, what do you do in this situation? What do you kind of tell your team and, and to, in order to kind of keep them going and keep them focused? Well, you know, we don't do anything right now, Kai, because we don't have any in, in, information. So uh, we're just going to wait. I thought our guys uh, took care of the game, which is great, you know. Um, and then, you know, tomorrow we'll get some more information and then we'll go from there. Uh, you know, listen, it's a long season. So at the end of the day, Hopefully it's not something where we, we lose them, obviously. Um, but our guys will be good. We'll be ready. And then if, in, in the case that he is, God forbid, if he's out for a, an extended period, how comfortable, you know, you got a guy like Dwight who's been there, done that, and then also an improving Tony Bradley. Does that kind of give you a little uh, ease of mind, even though obviously they're not Joel? Yeah, I mean, it helps. Obviously, Joel is MVP of the, the league. So, uh, but having Tony and, and Dwight and Vincent, uh, having Mike Scott's ability to play the five, I mean, hopefully if Joel's out at, at any point, uh, we can hold the fort. Thanks, Coach. Chris Krabs next. Hey, Doc. Um, on, on a positive note, you guys uh, held Bradley Field 19 points, which kind of has done the last couple of times we faced you guys. Um, does that kind of exceed your expectations, how you, how you played them? Uh, you know, we, we, we trapped him a lot more. We didn't trap him much in that first game. And I thought the adjustment of trapping him, uh, you know, starting Matisse on him. We didn't start Ben on him the last game. We were going to wait, you know. We started with our best defender on him at the beginning of the game. So uh, we, we put a definitely an X on him, to say the least. He still got it going. You know, Matisse picked up that foul when Joel got hurt. Of all the people who committed the foul was Matisse. They gave him his fourth, and Bradley went on a run. So, uh, but yeah, I, I I liked how we defended. I liked how we moved the ball today. Keep Tom Petty, you're up. Hey, what's up, Doc? I, I know you you guys said you want to learn more tomorrow, but did he have an X-ray? No, not that I know of. Um, you know, I didn't even ask them. We'll get all the information tomorrow, Keith. So I didn't ask that question. I don't think so. Uh, I know he was examined by doctors, uh, but he, we want to get him home, let him see our doctors, and we'll let you know tomorrow. Okay, and, and I guess this is bittersweet. I mean, this is your first year with the team. I mean, no matter what, it seems like this team used to come down here and struggle. And this is the first time that you guys defeated them down here in 11 games. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I someone told me that before the game. Uh, I think one of the coaches or uh, I don't know who told me, but someone did. and. Um, they asked me if I was going to mention it to the team, and I said, why would I mention it? I had nothing to do with that. So, <laughs> you know, we're playing tonight, and, and let's go get to win. So, you know, maybe the streets of Washington being closed helped us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for two more questions. Leonardo Torres and Andrea Panici. Go ahead, Leonardo. Oh, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Thank you. So, what is the biggest lesson of this win against the Wizards? 
take care of business. You know, um, I love our start. I didn't like the second quarter. I didn't like our second unit in the second quarter. Uh, and then they came in and played unbelievable in the fourth. So uh, just taking care of business. When you have a team down early, you, you keep them down. I thought we did that. All right, last one, Andrea. Yes, uh, I've seen uh, Sheik uh, Milton more aggressive under the basket. Is uh, my impression or is uh, your impression as well? Yeah, good impression. You know, uh, we're trying to get him to go downhill. Uh, you know, Sheik sometimes lives up to his name, if you know what I mean. And so what we're trying to get him to do more is that straight line drive. I thought he did that tonight. It was very effective.